I woke up in hospital um, in LUMC, not knowing why I was there. And I asked, why am I here? And the nurse gave me a mirror. She said, take a look at yourself and be prepared to be shocked. And it wasn't a pretty sight. And she said, you've fallen. We believe you've had a heart attack. Clinically, I was dead between one and five minutes. Waking up knowing that you had died and brought back to life clearly made me uh, realize uh, how lucky I was. I was burning the candle at both ends. I was working very hard, not looking after myself, eating the wrong things, drinking too much alcohol, not getting enough sleep, regular 17, 18 hour days, everything else took second place. On the 26th of October, 2014, I uh, was, was running and I had a sudden cardiac arrest. I hit the ground dead. The two people that found me, they saw people come up to me, look over my body, and literally step over me and continued with their, with their day. So, so Jack and Jeanette, who saved me, Jack uh, administered the CPR, and while his wife, Jeanette, went and got the defibrillator, and they administered the Philips defibrillator twice just to keep me alive. And in 30 minutes, the, uh, the ambulance came, and then I was uh, taken to hospital. It was the best thing that ever happened to me, I guess. I've learned that there was more to life than work. Fast forward um, two years, I then completed my first marathon to Sarbold. The world's first person to ever do the, the race, of, uh, having coming back from the dead. And I was very lucky to be given a second chance. So uh, what it's taught me is to always see the positive in everything. Uh, don't be me, you know, don't wait until it's too late. Mm -hmm.